Everybody says, how can you signal out one thing? Food's complicated, food's a whole bunch of different things all at once. They all play, interplay, all true. And I'm not singling out any other food other than this one. The problem is that sugar is completely non-essential. Before there was sugar, there were human beings. Sugar was invented in 1200 BC. There were human beings before that. The bottom line is there's not one biochemical reaction in the body that utilizes dietary fructose. None, zero, zilcho, nada. If you went completely fructose free, you would do very well, thank you, and you'd be much healthier to boot. Now, I understand that fructose is pleasure. I understand that fructose is celebratory. I understand all those things. And I'm not even against dessert once a week. The problem is that America has taken to dessert once a meal. All real food is inherently good. I don't have a problem with meat. I don't have a problem with milk. I don't have a problem with carbohydrates of various sorts. What I do have a problem with is food processing because food processing means two things. Put the sugar in, take the fiber out. Put the sugar in for palatability, take the fiber out for shelf life. Ultimately, these are both uh, procedures that the food industry has put into place for its own purposes, not for ours. Now, you could say it is for our purposes because it makes food cheap. I would say to you that that actually is a problem because the three countries that have the lowest percent GDP spent on food are the three most obese countries in the world. So making food cheap is not the answer. Making food healthy is the answer. The industry is making money hand over fist. This is their juggernaut. They've never made money like this before, and they don't want it to end. So they're going to do everything they can to, you know, stymie that, to, uh, you know, continue their mantras. So there are four mantras. A calorie is a calorie, and you are what you eat. Well, a calorie is not a calorie, and you are not what you eat, you are what you do with what you eat. Now. The food industry says, based on a calorie is a calorie, any food can be part of a balanced diet. And I agree with that, except that our diet is not balanced, and they're the ones who unbalanced it. They also say that everyone's responsible for what they put in their mouth. To which I say, no, not if you don't have access. And since 80% of the 600,000 items in the, food in the store are currently laced with sugar, that actually reduces choice. People say, I'm the nanny state. I'd say the food industry is the nanny state because they've already told us what to eat. Uh, I think that ultimately when the public understands what's really going on, they will exert pressure on powers that be to actually make things change. Ultimately, there have to be more votes than dollars in this fight. They have to get scared. And, you know, I've been accused of scaring kids straight. Uh, you know what, I'm proud of them. Should they be scared? Yes. Oh, they should be very scared. They have every reason to be scared. And their parents should be scared. Mm -hmm.